Dad. I I cannot believe that you've just made your first Champions League final in the most dramatic of fashions. I'm I'm sitting here actually shaking. I'm sitting here actually shaking at what I've just witnessed. How are you feeling as a Spurs fan? Um emotional. <laughs> oh, mate. I, I I mean, I can't even speak. I mean you you're three nil down. And I wanna put this into context. We saw an amazing performance from Liverpool last night, and I very rarely praise them as my biggest rivals. But what we saw tonight, you were 3-0 down on the night. Uh, sorry, two on the night, three down on aggregate. You had an away goal against you. Harry Kane's missing. You're actually looking lost at sea. You're, not, you're creating a few opportunities, but that's it. You've got 45 minutes to turn it around. And I don't remember that ever. This is, I don't think that's ever happened to score three away goals... Lucas Moura to get the hat trick. In your dad, you've been watching sport a lot longer than me. Is this the greatest comeback in sport in history that you can remember? Do you know? And it, there's no harm in being biased. I, I'm trying to think well, of a better one. I, I, I certainly think it's it's the best comeback by a Spurs team I've ever seen. I mean, I, 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 I know I'm older than you and I've watched a lot more football than you, but what about the... Uh, um, Liverpool final 2000 and... Okay, and uh, uh, in terms of the event and the moment, so Liverpool's comeback wins them the cup. So there's, I understand why you would perceive that better. But when they're 3-0 down, yes, they only have half an hour to turn it around, but they don't have to worry about... They haven't got away goals against them or anything like that. It's the, it's the sheer magnitude. I think, I think the away goal was... was, was, was I, I think that the away goal tonight was slightly immaterial because it didn't kind of really matter. Spurs just had to win. Tonight. Yeah, I get that. And I, and I get you had to do won that. One nil, yeah. any, other, any other victory, they were going to go through. And, and I understand that. I just think that when you add everything up, it's just the way... And, and, and do you know what I think adds to yours as well, which is why I think it pips it slightly. In terms of that, that euphoria moment, it's the last kick of the game. I mean... When when you uh, had the header from the corner, yeah, I mean, I know they added on another minute or so afterwards, but when you had this situation where you had the header that Lorenzo had and it goes over, there's you know, 45 seconds, 55 seconds on the clock, it goes up long again, and you just, you're waiting for the whistle. Just amazing. Now, in terms of the final, you've got the final now against Liverpool. They've yeah. got an opportunity to win this. How confident do you feel going into that game playing another English side? Both teams. 
teams, any result is is possible on the night. And I think if you look at the two games that we played Liverpool this year, um, I, I, I think that there was, I think that there there there, there wasn't much between the teams at Wembley, um, and Liverpool were probably slightly better than us at Anfield. Playing yeah. in Madrid, you can argue that Liverpool have got experience of playing in the final. But I don't think it matters. I think that was a massive, massive, massive step for Spurs tonight to get through a semi-final because they've every time they've been yeah. in one, don't matter whether it's the FA Cup or the League Cup, it, things haven't gone their way. I know people have called them bottlers. They can never, ever be called bottlers again. No, and I, and I agree. And I said that after the Manchester ever. City game. When you beat City, we sat here and spoke and I said the same thing that... I, what I want to see from that is that's that galvanizing moment for the mentality side of things for Spurs. And what what I saw tonight was a team 3-0 down. They missed a number of opportunities. Deli Alli could have scored. Eriksen had a great chance in the first half. So did uh, Mora as well. And what I loved from Spurs tonight is how they continued to hurry and hurry and push forward. They pressed and they carried on trying. And what I've seen from Tottenham in the past is when the goings got tough, their heads have dropped and they've stopped trying as hard and they've kind of allowed the game to peter yeah, away. I, 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 I couldn't agree with you more. And I think, do you know what? You can, you can look, I mean, everybody's going to be talking about the game last night and tonight for, for, forever and a day because <laughs> what odds would you have got before yesterday on Liverpool winning 4-0 and Spurs winning three two after being two 0 down, you just would, Jesus, you would you, you know, might not have even pound double on them two. You, yeah, you, 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 you'd be a millionaire. Well, you've got to look at it this way: the, the Liverpool game statistically, there was a four percent chance of that result happening. That's how slim their qualification really? was. In terms of obviously, there's there's odds and then there's probability um, uh, uh, collectively, and, and, and the probability of it happening was 4%. Spurs may not have been as tight as that at the start of the game, but once you've gone 3-0 yeah. down by half-time, yours would have been so far out of the way, it would have been unbelievable. But it's that, and that's, it's interesting because next year is going to be different with, I think next season, the away goal rule leaves. And I think that's, psychologically, I think that does a lot of teams in. So once yeah. you score two very quick goals and it puts Ajax in a very, awkward position where it does football can change like that can't it? and I will say one thing because I'm sure you're going to have other people calling in that don't want to hog the whole show but I will say this in an odd way in an odd way what happened last night at Anfield must have inspired the Spurs players tonight yep to, to see that when, when when you look at it and think it's a lost cause and you see how well Liverpool played last night okay Barcelona were pretty poor but the fact of the matter remains that Liverpool were fantastic and they des and thoroughly deserve to go through. That must have inspired the, the, the Spurs players tonight. Look, I've been supporting Spurs since 1961. That's as, I just can't believe that we're in a Champions League final. It's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Dad, look, enjoy and the I'm rest gonna, of your... Uh, sorry, I'm going to say this before I go, because you know my philosophy on how fans hate other clubs. I absolutely hope that both Arsenal and Chelsea win their semi-finals and get through to the final of the Europa League. Because if we can have a Liverpool Spurs Champions League final and a Chelsea Arsenal Europa League final, that is the best advert for the best players in the world to be attracted to come and play in the Premier League and make it even bigger and better. Absolutely right. I could not agree more. Dad, look, enjoy the rest of your night uh, and I'll talk I'm to you gonna, soon. I'm going to actually sit down and watch the whole... Well, I'm going to watch the second half again now. Yeah, I, do you know what? Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that later. Enjoy it, and I'll speak <laughs> to you soon. All right, Dad. See you later. All right, son. See you later. Take bye -bye. it. Bye-bye, bye-bye. There you go. My dad is ever... Even more level-headed than I am when it comes to... Um, he doesn't. Do you know what my dad? He doesn't. He's a humble man. He doesn't want to overplay how great a comeback that was. I know what he would have been doing at home. With no 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 cameras or no phones on, he'd have been running like an absolute like an absolute madman. He'll be buzzing about it. But when it comes to talking in public, he'll humble himself and he'll keep you know he'll keep that in. But I'll say it on his behalf. For me, I stand by what I've said. Because of who Tottenham are, the the bottle job label that they've been 
attributed by people like myself as well. Harry Kane being missing, three goals down, an away goal down, away from home in a Champions League semi-final where they have never been uncharted territory for them. You know, and I'm not taking anything away from Liverpool last night. Amazing. But we all know what Anfield's like on a on a European night, as an example. There were things in their favour. This was completely new, unfounded territory for, for Tottenham Hotspur. It was fantastic. It's amazing that they're in the final. An all-English final as well for us to sink our teeth into. We're going to open up those lines and get more calls. I want to know what you're all thinking, how you're all feeling. There must be some Spurs fans that want to give us a buzz tonight.